Hello children. Let's read an adventurous story today. Sinbad and the Strange Island. Once Sinbad and his sailors were sailing in search of new lands and treasures. After 7 days and 7 nights of sailing, they found nothing. There was water in every direction as far as the eye could see. Then one afternoon a crew member cried Land ahoy He was pointing to his right The other sailors looked where he was pointing The sailors at once cheered up on seeing a small island in that direction They were surprised because no one had seen an island in this part of the sea The island was a joy to behold It was covered with small bushes, big trees and rare plants. They quickly dropped anchor near the island. Sinbad along with a handful of sailors took a small boat and rowed towards the island. The rest of the sailors and the captain chose to stay on the boat. On arriving, the sailors saw no animals on the island. One of the sailors said It's clear island is ours let's name it Leave it for later first we will cook I am so hungry I could eat a horse exclaimed Sinbad The sailors began collecting wood to start a fire Sinbad wanted to collect herbs to put in his dish he went inside a dense forest strange he saw plants with pear shaped fruits trees with blue and yellow leaves and flowers much bigger than a human the forest had so many exotic plants and flowers that sinbad did not know from where to start he went to the nearest flower and smelled it phew it is such a pretty flower but it smells so bad oh look at that one he went to another plant and plucked its leaf i wonder what it tastes like he said to himself He bit the leaf gingerly. Wow, I am definitely taking this back. After some time in the forest, he realized that something was off. This forest is awfully quiet. Where are the birds and the animals? He realized that it was getting late. so he made his way back to the sailors after collecting the firewood the sailors built a camp they arranged the firewood and sat around it sinbad returned with his herbs he told them to light a fire little did they know that they were kicking a hornet's nest as soon as they lit the fire the island began to shake The men on the island thought that it was an earthquake. All of a sudden, the sailors on the ship started shouting, "Run for your lives! Get back on the ship! Get back on the ship! Run for your lives! Get back on the ship!" Sinbad thought they had lost their minds. Then he noticed that the island was moving the waves were getting bigger the ship was also moving away from the island he was at his wits end he was not knowing what to do he was totally confused he ran for dear life he was running when he remembered the boat he called the other sailors the boat hurry to 
the boat. Once they were in the safety of the boat, they saw that the island was not an island at all. It was a giant fish. They all watched bug-eyed as the fish started flapping its fins. Its fins were making the huge waves. It raised its tail, fin and dove underwater. The sailors could not believe their eyes. Sinbad remarked, It must be sleeping earlier. We were all on its back. And somehow we woke it up. As the giant fish dove, it made a huge whirlpool. The sailors rode with all their might to get away from it. Some of them even used their hands and arms as oars. They wanted to get back to the safety of the ship. But sadly, their ship was nowhere to be seen. It had steered away from them. The sailors in the ship were so terrified of the giant fish that they had left their men behind. Sinbad and the other men had nowhere to go now. The next morning, Sinbad spotted a ship sailing in the distance. He shouted for help. The rest of the men tried to signal the ship for help. Some of them were waving their arms, while some were waving their jackets like flags. However, the ship's crew did not notice them. Then Sinbad pulled out his new shining sword he used it like a mirror and shone it in the direction of the ship. At last, the ship's crew noticed them and pulled them abroad. So dear children, they had shown their courage and strength and saved themselves. Children, sailors nowadays use GPS technology to find their way in the sea. How did the sailors in Sinbad's time find their way? Write your answer in the comment section. If you like this video, then click the like button and also share it. See you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.